Hi, Kingsley here. In this video, I will be diving into this powerful topic of how to get your husband to make you feel loved and special again. You're also, also going to hear the story of our couple that we have given the fictional names to Sarah and John and how Sarah was able to get her husband, John, to make her feel loved and special again and possibly how you can too by listening to her story and what also um, was a result of what she shared in the story now let me say that if you are that wife that is feeling unloved and not as special as you once did let me assure you that you are not the only one who possibly is feeling that way as a licensed marriage and family therapist and a certified relationship coach, I have worked with hundreds, I mean, hundreds of wives. And I've heard, it, I've heard this complaint from a very large number of them that they are not feeling as loved as they once did or not as special as they once did. And they're trying to figure a way how to get their husband to love them and make them feel special once again. Now, be before we dive into today's topic, I want to, you to reflect upon three questions because I want these questions to be what you use to kind of think about your own situation. The first question is this, how do you feel loved? How do you feel loved? Second question, what are some ways that you, you can communicate your needs to your husband? How would he hear you? What might you need to do for him to hear you? So that's the second question. And the third question is, what are some ways that your husband can make you feel loved? See, this is very important as you'll see in the story of Sarah and John, why this question or these questions is to provoke you to start thinking about your own situation and what you need. Because if you don't know what you need and know uh, how to be how to feel loved what would john i mean in this case i mean sarah and john but in your case your husband how would you tell him what would you say to him about how you want to be feel you want to feel loved that is very important and that's why i'm asking you to ponder those questions that i've just shared with you now to set the tone for this video i want to share with you then right up front the story of sarah and john so you'll have a context for the rest of the video. Now, Sarah had, and John have been married for 13 years and they have two children. Now, Sarah was feeling unloved in the marriage. She began to feel unloved in the last recent times in the marriage. And she felt like John didn't take time to appreciate her. And she didn't feel like he was attracted to her anymore. And so Sarah decided to to talk to John about how she was feeling. She told him that she needed to feel loved and appreciated. Now, John was surprised. He was surprised to hear this because he thought he was doing a good job in, in making Sarah feel loved and special. But I guess he wasn't, and it, it took him by surprise that she brought that to her, his attention. Now, so John and Sarah sat down and they talked about this whole topic and what happened is that um they they began to share about how each other needs to feel loved okay and so they learned that they express love differently and they started to to communicate about their needs in this conversation but because sarah brought this to john he was more uh, more, more willing to listen to her and hear her out now, as a result of their conversation, John started to make more of an effort to make Sarah feel loved. Number one, he was surprised. That was the last thing he wanted to do. So here it is, she thinking that he's doing this thing, um, you know, and, and so he had no clue. He had no clue that was, that was happening, but she felt this way. But good thing she, she brought, it to his, brought it to his attention. And so they began to change their conversation. He started complimenting her more. Uh, he took her out more on more dates. 
And so when he began to do those things, Sarah her started to feel more loved and appreciated. And of course, their marriage improved as a result of that. Now, with this story as a backdrop, I want, and the topic of how to get your husband to make you feel loved and special again, um, this may be somehow difficult for some spouses to hear, maybe you, as you listen. You, you may have already identified with Sarah and you're thinking that that's their story if Sarah only knew my, my husband or if you only knew my husband. And, and so maybe as some other wives might be or have done, you may have some objections as to why this video might not apply to you or why it's, you're not going to be able to help to get your husband to make you feel loved and special again, right? Because some wives think they, that their husbands should just know how to make them feel loved, right? Having been married for 13 years and Sarah and John, she, just, she could have assumed that he should know. And I've heard it so many times that he should know, she should know. And the truth is men and women often have different ways of expressing love. I, and you may have already know this, but I, I think it's important to state that. Again, it's important for wives and for you as a wife to communicate your needs to your husband. It's important to, to advocate for your needs, to speak up for what it is you want and not just assume he should know because that many times doesn't work and you, you may be uh, a recipient of that and wondering why it's not working. Another objection that some wives might have is they're afraid of being uh, coming across as feeling too needy or demanding. But I want to assure you that there's nothing wrong with wanting to feel loved. It is how you're wired. It is how you're wired. And that's why God tells husband to love your wife as you love your own bodies. Because he knows that for us as men, it's gonna be something we have to be intentional in doing, but sometimes we just can't assume. So there's nothing wrong with wanting to feel loved and in fact, it's perfectly normal and healthy need that you have and why it's important for you to also bring that to his attention or remind him. Of course, not in a nagging way or in a way with an attitude that's not going to be helpful, but he's still, uh, it'd be good to help reminding him, remind him. Now, would you agree with anything I've just said? Now, if you agree or disagree, I would love to hear your comments so far. I would love to hear your thoughts so far. And that's why I'm going to ask you to um, leave a comment, just comment below about what I've just said. Let me hear your thoughts on this and whether you agree or disagree about what I've just said and about your situation. Now, if you're struggling with any of these objections, I wanna encourage you to keep watching. I'll share some practical ways, five practical ways that can help you to get your husband to make you feel loved and special again. Wouldn't that be awesome if at the end of this video, You've, you're, you have the, um, the skill, you have been given the, the practical ways and suggestions and strategies that you can help your husband. You can get your husband to make you feel loved and special again. Wouldn't that be a great deal? Well, you got to keep on watching because I believe you will have that as a takeaway today. Now, by the way, if you're new to this channel and wondering who I am, I, I am um, who's speaking on a topic like this one. Well, let me just say I'm Kingsley Grant and I'm a licensed marriage and family therapist and a certified relationship coach. And I teach wives how to get their husbands to make them feel loved and special again. Now, having counseled and coached, as I mentioned before, hundreds and hundreds of couples over the past several years and having been married for almost four years, decades, right? Right. I'm just like two, as of this recording, two years shy of four decades. Imagine that. Um, as, of, as of this recording, my wife and I just got back from our celebrating our 38th year anniversary. Yeah, to me, to us. And I, I, I shared a long post in my social media about our journey. And if you are on social media and you're following me, you can also see that post on my Facebook um, page uh, and profile. And I share that because I wanted to people to understand that our journey is not being perfect. But what I do know is God has been faithful. And we, we celebrate and boast about God's blessings and God's keeping and God's faithfulness. And so that is what I believe 
has made a difference in our relationship. So I, I, I believe that with those as a backdrop, I'm more than qualified, and I hope you think so, to talk about topics like this one with such confidence and feel I'm, I have something to offer you and help you in this area. Now, I know sometimes it, the question may come, well, you're a guy, you're a husband. I mean, how would you know what my, you know, my, what it is I needed? Well, here, here it is. Here's the good news. I'm a husband. I'm a man. So I have an idea of what it is that, what would I need to get from you? And this is not a tit for tat or somehow, you know, this pro um, quid pro quo kind of thing where you have to give me something to get something. You know, this is not necessarily so, but it's important to understand that as a husband, there's something that we look for. And it somehow, you know, it just cannot become uh, oxygen to our to the fire. It becomes fuel to us that we are more than willing to want to make certain that this happens. You feel more loved and 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 um, special again. And it's not we're, we're being intentional that we're holding things from you and don't want to be, you know, it's not we're being vindictive or any of those kind of things. It's just that sometimes we just need that kind of our ego scratched. We just need our, you know, our, our um, we, we, that's how we're wired, right? We, I must say, we might be a bit shallow or, or thin skin, but it's just how it is that we're wired. And, and so this is what I'm going to help you to have an insight in what as men, as, as your husband would need, so that you can be able to um, get the kind of relationship you have, you want from him. So while I'm at this, let me also recommend that you listen to my podcast, that I have a number of topics I cover there at happiermarriagesecrets.com slash podcast, happiermarriagesecrets.com slash podcast. And you'll find me talking about a number of topics there as well as I do here on this video. Now, at, at the end of this video, I'm going to share with you how to get access to some free resources that I have to offer. Now, now I know that getting your husband to make you feel loved and cared for or special again isn't going to happen overnight. And I'm sure you're not here expecting somehow that what we're, I'm going to share with you is going to transform overnight. It could, it could. So don't necessarily go away thinking that, you know, it's going to be a long process. In some cases, it can happen overnight, right? But I want to just let you know that it's not necessarily the, the way things operate. Things, you know, like this take time, takes time. But in some instances, it can happen. And it may be in your relationship, it could happen overnight because this could be the game changer that your husband had been waiting for for a long time. Then I'm going to share those five practical ways I share with you later on in a few minutes. Those could be a game changer in your relationship. But remember, it takes time, patience, and it takes commitment. But here's what I know. There are, there are many benefits, right, to feeling loved by your husband, which I think is so important to share this video with you. Because for one, it, it can boost your self-esteem and, and make you feel more confident, isn't it? Yeah, you feel more confident. Your self-esteem will be skyrocketed when you're feeling loved and special by your husband. Am I correct? I think you'd agree with that. It can also help you feel more connected to your husband and more secure in your relationship. Isn't that so? In addition, when you're able to get this going with your husband, feeling loved can have a positive impact on your physical and mental health. Studies have shown that people who feel loved are, are less likely to experience stress and anxiety and depression. Imagine that. Just by you ab uh, being able to implement the strategies, that, uh, the strategies I'm sharing with you, those practical ways, you can lower your stress level or eliminate the stress and anxiety and depression if you are experiencing that in your in your life. Now, before I share with you these five practical ways how to get your husband to make you feel loved and special again, I want you to do three quick things for me, okay? Three quick things, right? So this is all I'm asking you to do. For all I'm sharing with you, I'm asking you to do three quick things. And number one, I want you to sub smash the subscribe button below. Smash that subscribe button um, right below right now. Just hit that subscribe button. And then hit, if you're liking what you're hearing so far, hit the like button. And if you want to be notified whenever I release a new video in the future, then hit that notification bell as well. So you won't miss any 
of the broadcast, the videos I, I post here. Now, by the way, if you also want to get instant feedback on the state of your marriage, and what to do about it when you are, you're not certain what your marriage is, you know, experiencing right now, you don't know the state of your marriage, then you need to take the happier marriage assessment quiz. And you can do that in less than 90 seconds, really. And you'll have your score, and then you'll get a, a PDF that you can download that would explain your score to you and what your next step would need to look like. Now, this interests you. You can um, take the short quiz at happiermarriagesecrets.com slash quiz, happiermarriagesecrets.com slash quiz. And all the links will be mentioned, will be, will be found in the description that follows this video. So in case you missed that, you can always go there and get the links for this the podcast and also the quiz. Now, so how do you get your husband to make you feel loved and special again? Now, there are many ways to do so, but in this video, I'll share, as I mentioned, five of the most important ones that I believe Sarah and John demonstrated in their marriage. You may have picked them up or have an idea, but you're going to see when I, I share these five with you, this is what Sarah did, and this is what happened in their marriage. It's also what you will need to do if you want to get your husband to make you feel loved and special again. And before I even start sharing this, I know sometimes people said, well, why don't I have to do that? Why don't he know, you know, by now he shouldn't know. Why do I, why? Come, listen, let's get past those childish behaviors. And I'm calling, you know, please don't forget, understand, I'm not saying you are childish, but it can be childish. We are adults. Let us act as if our husband, uh, our relationship has um, needs this kind of maturity. It needs this kind of us behaving in a manner and not assuming and taking for granted. What is so wrong with sharing with our spouse what our needs are? So don't be like some who will immediately begin to like, you know, get into this attitude right away and don't even hear what I'm saying. So don't be one of those persons right now. I know, I know you're not. So I'm speaking to the person who is will watch this at some other time. This is not you. This is somebody else. This is somebody else. This is not you, okay? So what are those five ways? First one, Tell your husband how you want to be loved. Tell your husband how you want to be loved. That's why the question was posed earlier, how do you want, how do you want to be loved? Because you need to know how you want to be loved to ask your husband to love you that way. Don't be afraid to be specific. He needs that. We as men, we need specificity. Don't be afraid. All right. Tell your husband what makes you feel loved and what doesn't. Because you don't, don't want to assume that he knows that. It doesn't matter how long you've been married. You've not know, been married for 38 years. And sometimes I can tell you, I, I, sometimes my wife had to remind me in this, in this um, area. Because this is not my default, my go-to. Okay? So it's nothing wrong with that. And, and don't take it that, you know, why do I have to kind of thing. So what? Who, who does it? At the end of the day, you're going to get what you want. The marriage gets what it needs, right? You get what you want. The relationship gets what it needs, and everybody's happier. So tell your husband in a specific manner how you want to be loved. Number two, do things for your husband that you know he'll appreciate. Do things for your husband that you know he'll appreciate. We as husband want to be wanted. We want to be needed. We want to be appreciated. I cannot tell you how many husbands have said to me, I don't feel appreciated in my home. I feel like I'm being taken for granted. You know, I just, I'm the one who keeps on just, you know, I'm the bank, so to speak, and, but I don't feel appreciated. So do things for your husband that you know he'll appreciate, right? It could be cooking his favorite meal. Um, it could be just doing something that you know. Again, it varies from person to person, so I don't want to put a list of things. But you know your husband, when you've done those things, he says, thank you, and show his appreciation. Do more of that. Number three, spend quality, quality time with your husband. And, and so what, what I mean by that, I can tell you, I've had couples who have come into my, you know, in counseling with me, and I've heard both a wife and a husband have said this, but I've heard um, a husband, when he makes this complaint, is that he would say, his wife, she's so much, she's so addicted to her phone, on social media, you know, all this clicks, this likes, this, I mean, it's just really crazy. And so he would say, I wish she would just put away her phone and let us spend some time together. 
some husbands want more quality time. Now, some maybe your husband may not dig a quality time as a thing, but you don't want to somehow assume that is not important to him. Okay, so spend quality time with him. And when you are with him, be with him, be with him. Number three, um, I'm sorry, number four, compliment your husband, compliment your husband. Now, again, it goes back, it kind of ties in with the appreciation of number two is tell him how much you appreciate him and what you love about him. Now, he may shrug it off. He may like, you know, uh, you know just grunt something back. But because he doesn't get all excited and and somehow be you know all emotional and like you know oh, thank you I mean <laughs> so because he doesn't do that, don't think he doesn't appreciate and he doesn't want to hear that. Don't be fooled by that, right? We would sometimes we just we, just, we grunt something. I, I know you're right. We should be saying it. We should actually articulate, be more articulate. I, I get it, all right? So I want to make sure you understand that because he doesn't show it the way you think he should, that when you show your, you um, compliment him, somehow it, it, it did not, um, it did not connect. It did, it did, trust me on that, it, it did connect. And number five, so we talked before, uh, the first thing I mentioned was that tell your husband how you want to be loved. Number two, do things for your husband that you know he'll appreciate. Three, spend quality time with your husband. Number four, compliment your husband. And number five, show your husband that you respect him. I cannot say this enough. And you probably hear me at our nauseam to kind of talk about this idea of respect because it's a number one thing for men, for husbands to know that they are respected by their wives and their family. Show your husband that you respect him. Uh, this means listening to him valuing his opinion and not taking it for granted. This is a way he will hear that you care and you um, you elevate his position and he will be more than happy. Actually, he will even move whatever he needs to move to make you feel loved and special again. And sometimes what I find that what keep you from experiencing that, I'm not saying you per se, but what keep wives from experiencing that because they're not implementing what I'm just suggesting, especially number five, show your husband that you respect him. Now, when you actively apply these strategies, there's five practical ways and you incorporate biblical wisdom and prayer, I can assure you that you're going to pave the way for a more loving and fulfilling marriage. And your husband is going to make you feel loved and special again. I, I can give you my word on that. And you can trust the process, okay? Don't look for a quick fix. It may happen, it may not, but be patient and be committed to the process. Now, what we've shared in this video is we talked about how to overcome, to, to get your husband to, um, show, to make you feel loved and, and special again, right? Remember this though, that you have the power. You have the power to transform your marriage. These things I've suggested are the ways that you can sub, um, transform your marriage and create deeper intimacy, deeper connection and happiness in your marriage. So keep investing in yourself, walk in humility, keep praying, asking God for wisdom, focus on your relationship and make faith, you know, walk by faith, not by feelings, walk by faith, not by feelings and see what difference that will make. Now I want you to stay tuned for more valuable insights and practical tips, right? Uh, to help you because what my, my mission is to raise up extraordinary wives, right? Extraordinary wives, because I believe to be, once you become an extraordinary wife, you're going to be able to normalize these things I'm suggesting, and you're going to do these things in a way that it just comes, like, you know, you don't think about it. That's what an extraordinary wife does. And so that's my goal and my mission of raising up wives to be extraordinary. And people say, well, why wives, Kingsley? Because wives are more relationship-centric. Wives are more into relationship and invest in relationship more than men does. Doesn't mean he's not interested. It's just what it is. We've got to work with the facts and not fight with the facts, right? Work with the facts and not fight with the facts. So before you go, I want to ask you to make sure you smash that subscribe button like I asked you before in above. And remember to listen to the Happier Marriage Secrets podcast. And you can get that by going to happiermarriagesecrets.com and you can have access to the 
the podcast. I mean, yeah, podcast. Now, I also mentioned before about the, the freebie I said earlier. Well, the quiz is a freebie, right? Have your marriage secrets.com slash quiz is a freebie. We can also have a uh, created a, um, an ebook that you can have for free. And that also can be found in the links that follow this, um, this video today. Now, all the links will be mentioned, as I said before. So with that said, I want you to join me in making marriages happier again. But to do so, you have to stay extraordinary, right? To stay extraordinary as that wife, and we're going to make marriages happier again. So until next time, peace out. God bless. And I'll see you on the next broadcast on this channel. Please share and stay extraordinary, which I believe that you will do. Amen? Amen.